Welcome back to the channel. I'm Arthur You're watching Dirt Hammers Off-Road. Hey, this is going to be a quick video. I want to show you how to get the wires from your engine bay into the cab of your Jeep. This is important if you're installed a light bar or any aftermarket uh, lighting on the front of the Jeep or overhead lights and you got all your relays, uh, wiring, all that stuff is underneath the engine bay or in the engine bay connected to the battery, but you need to get wires into the cab of the Jeep for switches or for any other thing like that. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. This is a 2015 with a 3.6 liter and it probably applies to all the other uh, JKs with a 3.6. The 3.8 may be something different in the engine bay. So let's jump in this and I'll show you how to do this. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna raise the hood obviously, but if you look right here above the uh, brake booster, you know, here's your brake fluid reservoir, uh, brake booster. There's a rubber grommet right here. If I can get the camera in there. This rubber grommet, um, you can pop it out. And this is actually a hole. Uh, it's in this cow area right here, but you can run a wire snake through here and it will come out into the cab. And you can see, I, obviously I got several wires uh, coming in here. I've made all my own wiring harnesses um, uh, for all my lights. But this is where I come in to get all my uh, switches and things set up inside the cab. So let me show you that. So you're gonna run your metal snake through that grommet. You can pop that grommet out and give you a little more room, but you wanna run the wire through the grommet so it can protect it. But run your um, wire snake through that grommet, come over to the driver's side, open it up, pop this panel off on the side right here, it just snaps in, you can see the nice little snap clips just pop that off and your wire snake's going to come in this area here be careful there's uh there are some oem wires in that area but your wire snake's going to come in this area now it may come out at the floorboard i did have that one time come down at the floorboard it's no big deal uh, but just pull it back out and try it again you can get it in this area you, you can see i got a lot of wires already in here uh, that's all a lot of the wires that i'm bringing from the firewall or the engine bay into the Jeep. I put my switches in the uh, pillar here, and I got another switch down here for reverse lights, but that's how you get those um, wires from the engine bay, is through this rubber grommet right here. Uh, like I said, just be careful with your uh, wire snake. Uh, I bought uh, just a roll of wire from uh, Home Depot is what I use. And just another note, once you get the wires out here, there's a couple different things that you can do with them depending on where you're mounting your switches or where you need to route the wires. But when you come out here, you do have the option of going underneath the dash to the center console. Or if you're coming out here, you have the option of running up behind this uh, pillar cover and going overhead. Okay, so it just depends on where you want to go. For me, it was easy because I had my wires or my switches mounted here and here. So, but I got my CB wires. They run through here for power and CB. So... It just depends on what you want to do. My CB wires come in, they run up this pillar and they run all the way across to the CB. So depending on where you want your wires to run to, you have that option to go overhead or you can, if they're coming in here, you can also go underneath. So there it is, that's pretty easy. Um, if you've got um, aftermarket lights or some other accessories that you need to get those wires into the cab of the Jeep so you can uh, wire up some switches or some other things, that's how you do it. It's simple, it's easy. Um, just make sure you clean up your uh, routing underneath the engine bay. You want to do a good wiring job, obviously, because adding additional wiring to a vehicle um, potentially could add uh, for some issues. You don't want something shorting out. You don't want some uh, worst case scenario catching fire. So make sure you take precautions and doing any of those wirings. But this is a great place to get wires inside the cab of the Jeep. I see that question a lot on Facebook groups and some other places. So hopefully this will help you. And uh, make sure you like the video, share it, and thanks for watching.